Alrighty, as promised, coming back to our stick figure animations, we're going to go over how to animate flames using Wic Editor. And so we want to complete this stick figure animation by adding some flames to the fire pit that he is successfully jumping over, might I add. Very nice form. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So we will open our stick figure project. So hopefully you saved your .wic file and you can click open here and open up that .wic file that you have in your Google Drive. So you'll have to download it from your Google Drive in order to continue. Um, we'll add a new layer in here. I will call this layer fire. And what we want to do is click on this first frame and we are going to draw fire with the rectangle tool. I know, weird, right? That seems really odd. But you will see soon enough how that's going to happen. So we're going to take our fill color as an orange and we'll do another one that has a different color. Um, but for now, orange will be good and then the other one will do like a darker or a lighter color, however you want to do it. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn the line weight to zero. Um, don't want any lines on these rectangles here. So I'm uh, going to just click and drag to make a rectangle. And then I'm going to do another rectangle right next to it that overlaps it. And try to make them flat on the bottom. If they're not quite perfect, that's okay. But just going to do a series of rectangles, kind of almost like a simplified sort of like a city, like a cityscape but just a whole row of rectangles. And then we'll do a little bit of transforming. Let's see, maybe I'll do one more here and then one more that kind of goes like low. All right, and maybe I'll do one more that kind of goes low on the other side. Cool, so yeah, so this kind of, uh, like I said, we're gonna do a little transforming to this. Kind of looks like a very simple sort of like Lego city kind of thing, um, but we'll take our path cursor tool and then take this line and I'm going to pull it down, right? So I'm taking the line at the very top of this and pulling it down so it has these two peaks. So again, putting your cursor, path cursor tool over the top line of the rectangles, all of them, and then just going ahead and pulling them downwards so that they kind of create these curved peaks. All right, and then what we're going to do is create a clip. So what we want to do is, and you can take some of these points and move them as well, you know, as long as you don't have any white spaces in between, you don't really want that to happen. So I could zoom in a little closer. Uh, I can use my pan so I can pull and drag this down so I can kind of focus in and see really what's going on here, because I did move this one shape a little bit, and I think that I made a little gap. So I'm going to try and fix it up here by just pushing these shapes a little closer together. All right, so, cool. All right, so it's all set. Now what I want to do is convert this to a clip. Um, so what I need to do is select all of these pieces so um, as long as my cliffs layer, I think, is still locked, I'm locking my cliffs layer, and I could lock my stick figure layer as well, as long as I'm not making any changes to it. And then I could click and drag to make a box that goes over all these rectangles. You could also click on them one at a time and then hold the shift key and, and click each one to select them all. But what I'm going to do is scroll down in my inspector here and you have two options, make button or make clip. And we're going to make this a clip. Um, and what that does is it kind of brings all these pieces together and also creates this into a clip which we can double click on and we can edit its timeline. I think we can also click edit timeline right here. And you can see now in this little project bar here, you are inside of a clip. That lets you know that you are inside a clip and you're not looking at your actual project. Okay. So what I want to do is add two more frames here inside of this clip. So I'm going to clip, uh, click on this second frame. Actually, I think first what I'll need to do is copy and paste this. So I'm going to copy it and then paste it here. And then with this frame, I'm just going to make some tweaks to it. So I'm going to click on my path cursor tool. I'm going to bring like this peak up and maybe change this curve a little bit. Maybe I'll bring this peak down and maybe change this curve just a little bit. 
So change each curve and each peak just a little bit. You know, so maybe I'll bring this one up and maybe bring that one over. And maybe I'll bring this one down. Maybe I'll bring this one down. You know, and then bring this one up. So every other one or so, or do each one, really, you want to kind of make some tweaks too. Maybe I'll bring this one down on the low side. That works better. And you know, bring this up a bit. And it doesn't have to be drastic changes. They could just be subtle changes to the shape of the flame too. And then as I go up a little bit taller with this one, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to copy this frame again. Copy it. Third frame, paste it. You know, you could do more than three frames if you want, but um, but three is really kind of like the minimum you're going to need. You know, you could do more like five. It'll probably have a little more variety to your um, flame shapes and things like that. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do three. So I think that's sufficient. And just going to change up these shapes a little bit more. Bring this guy up. Let me bring this guy down. I don't think I think I kind of skipped over this one. You know, I bring this guy way down again. Make sure I close over that gap. Maybe I'll just bring that shape kind of down like that. So cool. All right. So there we go. We have three frames. I can hit this play button and you can see how these kind of jump and dance around, kind of looking like flames. So um, that is good to go. So now if I hit back on project, um, I want to zoom out a little bit here so we can see this. When I hit play in this preview play, we're not going to see much happening here. Okay. Um, what this, actually this should have stayed, oh here we go. Yep, I did not actually extend this frame for this clip. So that's part of it, right? It disappeared after the first frame, but also, oh no, it does play. All right, I wasn't sure if it would play out here. So, scratch that. I thought that it might not play out here until we exported it, but I was wrong. So, there we go. We have our stick figure jumping over flames. Now, we could add another layer of this and really easily kind of change the colors just to give it a little more depth and make it look slightly more realistic, even though it's you know kind of cartoonish, but um, just slightly more realistic. So, I'm gonna click on this clip all right, and then I'm going to hit Command C and Command V. Oh, it says there's nothing to copy. Is this layer locked? No, unlocked. Oh, you know what? I did not have my cursor tool selected. Sometimes I think my path cursor is my cursor tool because they look similar, um, but they aren't the same. So I click on this with my cursor tool, and then I want to do Command C, Command V, and that just gives me a second one of these. All right. So what I can do now is maybe um, I could flip it by just kind of like stretching it and pulling it all the way across. So now it's kind of reversed. But the other thing you can see is I want the color to be a little different because I want this to, um, to stand out a little bit from the other one. Maybe I make it a little taller too. So in order to edit the color, I'm going to double click on this. And then in here, I can change the colors of these frames. So I'm going to go change my fill color. Maybe move a little bit darker of a reddish orange. And then, um, yeah, we'll say OK to that. Come back out here. And then I'm going to take my fill bucket and just fill in these frames. So one, oh, this one wants me to fill each one of these. That's OK. And then this one looks like it wants me to fill them each individually, too. <laughs> That was funny though. The first one seemed pretty happy doing it just all in one click. All right, so now we have this one in darker colors. So I'll go back to my project and I'll have to zoom back out a little bit. You can see here that I have the two layers of flames going now, which just kind of adds a little bit more dimension to my flames. If I want these, the darker color ones, I kind of want this to be in back of the lighter color ones. I can use my canvas actions um, option here and I can go send backward. And so I could send that one behind the lighter one. So now the lighter one is in front, the darker one's in back. And my stick figure makes it successfully only slightly singed. 
Um, and so there it is. There's our animation. So I'm uh, just going over savings um, a little bit. Editor settings, we can name our project here, you know, stick figure, fire jump, something to that effect. Uh, if you want to change your background color, you can change your background colors here, which is always kind of a fun thing to do. You know, we can make this kind of like any color we want. Um, we could change our frame rate. We will leave it at 12, I think should be good, especially since we kind of made the frames all set with uh, previewing it at 12 frames a second. But there we go. Uh, make sure that you save your .wic file, right? This you can edit. You can come back in and edit, make additions, make changes, um, and things like that later uh, in case you want to. Or, and then if you think you are also finished and you want to submit on Classroom, you'll want to hit export and make sure you export this as an animated GIF. And then we will be all set with that to turn in on Classroom and also keep your .wic file in your drive as well. All right, so hope you guys have fun with this assignment, getting to know Wic Editor even better, making cliffs, making uh, you know frame by frame stick figure animations, and um, yeah, controlling fire with clips. So, all right, guys, signing off for now.